In this video I'm going to show you how to perform a pre-titration or conditioning in the volumetric Carl Fischer titration. My name is Eila Reuss, I'm a lab scientist. First we have to rinse our system at least twice to make sure that there are no air bubbles in our tube or the burette. The concentration of the reagent may change due to incoming humidity or evaporating solvent. And now we will see the new reagent uh, pumping through the tubes into the burette and then pumping into the cell. And now we empty the cell and add fresh solvent. If additional solvent is needed for the determination, add it now and then perform the pre titration in the solvent mixture. When fresh solvent is added into our titration cell, we gently have to swing it to bring down the drops of water which are on the side of the wall and the electrode. To dry the solvent and the titration cell, we now start the pre-titration. The titration cell is never really tight, that's why we have a drift and the drift shows us the amount of water which comes from the environment into our titration cell. The drift should be below 20 microliter per minute and stable. Thank you for watching this video. We hope this information was helpful.